What's up guys, my name is Emilio. I'm a tech pro and I love it. A few of you have asked, you know, how did you actually get into technology? What sort of tips can you give me to get into tech? Where I started, what are the skills that I had that I acquired and all of that. And hey, you're watching this on a YouTube machine, so why don't you also subscribe click on the button and on the bell so that you don't miss out on anything. You can also check out a number of my training courses. I've got a whole bunch of those online. You can check those out in the description below. At the moment, we are here in, this is 2022. 22 years, 22 years is what I've been in uh, technology in various different capacities, various different roles. But let, let's go back to the very start. The way that I even got an excitement about tech in the first place is when I got my first computer, I got a Pentium 1. A Pentium 1 was one of my first computers when the Pentiums first came out by Intel, but they were great. It was a PC. I actually went and uh, bought, well, I didn't build it, but I went and got went to a computer store that actually built me a computer that had a Pentium 1 CPU and they put all the bits inside of it. And at the time I was in school, we did have a computer. I mean, I, I think it was like a 386, 486 and uh, before Pentiums. And there was one computer between two classrooms. So we had to like share this this one computer. But that sort of well was my, I guess my first exposure to a computer. But then when I got my own one, super happy days, I've got my own computer and I was able to start playing around with it, starting to play Solitaire and um, Minesweeper. Brilliant, brilliant games right there on the original Windows. And then a little while later, there was a specialist class where you could actually go and learn about computers. So then I thought, hey, this is this sounds fun. I sort of like computers, so I'm gonna go and play around with computers, and that's what I did. By this stage, there was a computer room with lots of computers in there, all running Windows 95, I think still. I don't think Windows 98 had come out yet. And we started playing around with those and you, you, we learned the basics of hardware and software, what data is, what information is, what are the different bits of the computer. I then went and bought my own parts and built my own computer. I didn't know how to do it, but I figured it out. The excitement of being able to build my own PC and then install a game and then play the game on the PC that I built. I put all the parts together, happy days. And then I finished school and I had to decide what I wanted to do with my career. And I think like most kids sort of finishing up high school, you're gonna go, well, what, what happens next? I enjoyed music as well. I mean, if you can tell, there's some guitars behind me. So I was like, well, do I wanna pursue the music thing or IT? Computers were the thing and I sort of enjoyed the computer. So then I thought, I'm gonna go and uh, study and do some further study around that. So I went to university and started studying a bachelor's. Course was very, very vast, covered a lot of things around infrastructure, a bit of networking and the different parts of the computer. Also learned a little bit about software, programming, learned Java, learned C. And it was around this time I had a friend who um, was working full-time in a PC store. Do you wanna come and work part-time, I've got a job opening to work part-time at this computer store. Selling PCs, selling computers, building computers. So it was a bit of tech support, troubleshooting, and then it was also selling it. So really understanding how to deal with customers and working on those sort of relationships as well. So I was able to have a, you know, studying technology, which is great, while also being able to work in a computer store, surrounded by all of this tech all the time on the side. Final year of university, we had to develop a solution for a real life customer. We had to build a product and he called me up and said, hey, you're finishing uni, do you wanna come and work for me? And he worked at a very, very large telecommunication company. He was contracted out through Microsoft and that is how I got my, I guess, proper, proper, proper first job out of university. I, I was able to get a great opportunity to work straight away in a level two capacity, go into desktop support, tech support, and was able to support a lot of people across a lot of different countries, and then eventually going and doing level three type support, working with servers, with networking, with security. From there, moved into managed service providers, so been able to actually provide IT services for businesses. I worked there as a um, infrastructure manager, and as a service delivery manager, essentially providing those services to a lot of different businesses, essentially the IT manager for all of those with a team, making sure that IT was able to get provided. And then a number of jobs later, working in different IT capacity and IT leadership roles, 
I've now landed to where I am right now, where I'm actually working now for a design architecture firm as their head of technology, looking after all the technology in a global business. But the key to all of this was me actually having a passion and a desire and an excitement about technology. You know, a lot of people who work in tech nowadays have lost that spark or they got into tech because they sort of stumbled their way into it, but maybe they don't really enjoy it as much as they, uh, they probably should. Technology is such an exciting career to be a part of. Get into tech if you're not in tech. If you're in tech, why don't you let us know in the comments what you're actually doing. Tell us why you enjoy working in technology and because you're watching this on the YouTube machine, you must also subscribe click on the button and on the bell so you don't miss out on anything. And I release videos every single week on all things tech. But anyway, thanks so much for spending the time. Really appreciate it. We'll see you next time.